Hey guys, Peter here with another episode of Peter Chats. You know, I never thought that they would make a great movie, entertaining one at that, about stuttering. And then the King's Speech comes out. It's a great movie, by the way. Now, I've stuttered my whole life, I've struggled with it my whole life, and it didn't meaningfully improve until my late 20s. Now, everyone stuttered a little bit when they're nervous, but I mean consistent, frequent stuttering. There's actually a severity scale when it comes to measuring stuttering, and it's based upon a percentage of the syllables where someone stutters. So if you take the sentence, can you get me a cup of water, please, which is 10 syllables, if someone stutters on one or two of those syllables, that'll be considered a moderate stutterer. And if it's two or more of those syllables, that person will be considered a severe stutterer. The severity scale doesn't notice how long that person gets stuck on that obstacle, on that syllable that is the obstacle. So in this example, if someone says, can you get, 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 they can be stuck on that G sound for a very long time, or they can get over that G sound with a couple of stutters. But if they're stuck on it for a very long time, the longer time they're stuck on it, the greater anxiety, the greater frustration builds, and that just creates like a negative cycle where you're continually caught on that G sound. As you can imagine, if you're with a crowd of people, it creates discomfort, it creates extreme awkwardness. People are trying to be patient, and maybe some people are trying to keep themselves from laughing. And ultimately, no one really knows what to say to help you. They just wait until you get through it, and then continue on with the rest of the day. Two interesting things I learned while I struggled with my stuttering. The first is I learned to rephrase words. I learned to think quick on my feet. So instead of saying, can you get me a cup of water, if I get stuck on a G sound, I say, can I have a cup of water? If I ask, can you please pass me me the salt? If I get stuck on the me sound, I can say, can you send the salt over? Now, those rephrasings are not very awkward, but you can imagine if you have to do that continually and very frequently throughout your life, a lot of the rephrasings would be pretty awkward. Or you just don't say anything, and you wait for that obstacle syllable to slowly pass away before you open your mouth again. The other thing I learned about my stuttering is that I don't stutter when I sing. And there's a theory to this. Music is controlled by the right side of your brain, whereas language is controlled by the left side. Is it a disability? Not according to the ADA, because it's not substantially impairing. I understand, I get it. I don't have to park closer to the store, and I'm not a mute. It's not disabling, but it's certainly very limiting. There are conversations I want to join, there are comebacks that I want to make, there are jokes that I want to tell, and maybe there's someone that you want to talk to that could be the love of your life, could be a future spouse. You can't, or maybe not so much that you can, but you're scared to. And that fear creates more anxiety and it makes the stuttering worse. And so you want to join life and engage in life as much as you can. You feel like this is a hindrance that keeps you out of it. What causes stuttering? The earliest known case of stuttering is actually Moses from the Bible. He said, I am of slow speech and slow of tongue. My parents told me some mean guy taught me to stutter when I was a kid. I don't know if I ever believed that. I think they're just trying to be nice. Scientists think there are a couple of reasons that may cause this. They don't know exactly why. One reason could be developmental issues, which can be associated with things like ADHD and learning disabilities. Another is genetic. Although no one in my family has it, nor is anyone among my extended relatives that struggle with this. The third could be environment. Maybe you had trauma, maybe there's some, some events that happened that really scarred you that's causing you to stutter. In any event, I don't really know why I had the stuttering problem my whole life. It could be any of those reasons. Basically, my parents could be right. It could have been that guy, that mean guy that messed me up. Is there a cure? When I was younger, my parents took me to a speech therapist every week. My elementary school teachers thought it was bad enough and they thought I needed help. In the King's speech, King George tries many different methods, some of them pretty comical. He would say phrases very loud, covering his ears. He would goggle warm water. He would practice tongue twisters. And he would practice breathing exercises. My stuttering eventually got better over time. And I think for a 
those of you who suffer with stuttering, it will get better over time. So there is hope. Don't feel down for the rest of your life. But in the interim, you'll, you'll probably do what I did. You'll learn to rephrase sentences or not speak at all. Or you just wait until you're very confident that you're not going to bump into an obstacle syllable that will cause you to stutter. The recommended solution today is simply seeing a speech therapist. There's no magic pills to cure stuttering. In the final scene of the movie, King George gives his wartime speech with the help of his therapist. It goes pretty well. Now, he's not going to win any speech awards anytime soon, neither will I. But just because your syllables get interrupted doesn't mean that your life has to. I hope this is encouraging for all of those who are watching who maybe you are struggling with stuttering, maybe you have a friend who struggles with it, that you learn a little bit about stuttering, and maybe you learn about it from the vantage point of someone who struggled with it, found ways to cope, and can say that as I'm speaking, speaking to you, I don't struggle with it as much as I did in the past. Thank you and take care.